Hey everyone, Nick Smith here from the SAP DataViz team, and I want to give you a quick demo of some of the new capabilities with SAP Lumera. So here I am on the desktop, and the first thing I want to show is a new way to bring data in and mash it together. And so I'm going to add a new data set here and copy some information in from my clipboard. Now, SAP Lumera can grab data from all sorts of different types of data sources, Excel, universes, uh, all sorts of information sources, but I want to grab data coming from the web. So I'm going to go to a stats website. I'm going to grab some World Cup data here and do a, just a quick uh, copy. And this is just a, a World Cup stats website. So for all of you soccer fans out there, you'd be interested in this. And I'm going to copy that information coming in from my clipboard. So now we can really take any type of data wherever it's coming from and pull that in and merge it and mash it together with our existing data set. So I'm going to bring that in uh, to Lumera here into my prepare tab and combine it now with some data that I already have um, about my World Cup teams and countries and their performance. And so I'm going to I'm going to flip over here to um, one of my other data sets and do a merge. So I'm going to bring these two data sets together and another feature that I can I can just do is combine these two data sets together, merge them, and and now have a, a combined data mashup, a new view of information, whether it's coming from structured, unstructured information, whether it's coming from um, my corporate system or just a spreadsheet or the web. I bring these two data sets together, merge that, and then I can go then to visualize and prepare um, some analysis on this data. So let's do that next. Let's switch over to the Visualize tab, and let's take a look at how we can begin to uh, apply some visualizations to this data and start to uncover some interesting uh, facts and anomalies in this data uh, very quickly. So over on the left here you'll see my measures and dimensions and and all the different chart types that I can choose from. Now I've already started to explore this information and build out some visualizations and I have a nice one here of all of the different countries and the years that they have won the World Cup which is uh, a nice view here. I have another visualization here of more of a radar chart where I can see uh, some of those connections between uh, the countries and uh, how often they've won and from what host city um, they won the World Cup in. I have a, I also have a nice view here of more of a geo uh, a map view of all of the countries and their participations in in the World Cup. And actually, this one I, I, is a work in progress. So I, I let's uh, let's take a look here at the champions, and we'll go into look at it by geography. And I've already created a geographical hierarchy which is nice and then we can see all of the different champions hover over and see see them represented on on a map view there so uh, uh, a good uh, example of being able to create that visualization on the fly and then finally um, let's take a look at just a simple bar chart type of a view here where I have all of the the, the champions all the winners of the World Cup um, and, and let's go with uh, the goal scored and see what that uh, looks like. There we go. And so you can see uh, Brazil leading the way there. So as I go in and I analyze this information, I visualize it, I create some views, and I can save my progress as I go down at the bottom here. The next step is to bring that all together into a story that I can then share. And one of the new features is the ability to create infographics. And here's one that I've been working on here for um, the World Cup. And this is my data story telling um, you know my my shareholders, my stakeholders, all the information I want them to know in this case about the World Cup. So who has the most championships? And here you can see my chart. And this is as simple as bringing in some of these visualizations that I've already created. So here's my uh, champions uh, visualization, just dragging and dropping that into my infographic there. Uh, and then I can add in these additional components of whether these are pictures or pictograms. I have a number of different uh, visual objects that I can then create on this uh, creation panel. So once I've composed my infographic or my, my data story, the next step is to be able to share that. And we have a, a number of new ways now to be able to share this information. So I'm going to go ahead and select my 
football infographic, my soccer infographic, if you will, if you're from North America. And I have a number, a number of different ways I can publish that to the cloud. I can publish that now to a server, so an on-premise instance where I can share that internally within my organization. Or I can publish that to my BI platform. So if I have a business objects a BOE platform, I can publish it there. And let's take a look at that. Um, and here I've entered in my server information, my credentials. Uh, and I'm going to hit next and, and just show you. Now I can select the folder of where I want this to go. And there you can see I've already added in this infographic. So I'm going to switch over to BOE now. And let's go over to my launch pad. So here I am now within BOE. And this is, again, where um, I can have management over the visualizations uh, and the the stories that I create um, and from an IT perspective um, really have wraps wrap some trust and some management around um, this this concept of agile visualization so you can see here let's click on the football infographic and take a look at it within my BOE platform so if I'm within a platform view now of, of interacting with this visual and see what it looks like so here's that view of the infographic in the BI platform and again because this is now uh, you know we leveraging the, the the capability of the BI platform I can come in as an administrator and set up security access and, and rights to the data as well as the visualizations uh, for certain people within the organization to view access and uh, engage with and share so uh, lots of uh, enhancements and um, capabilities that can be leveraged through the BI platform. So that's a quick flyby of some data manipulation capabilities, some new visualization um, uh, features such as infographics, and then adding in that layer of trusted data discovery with the BI platform and some of the new features coming with SAP Lumera. Thanks for watching.